Hello YouTube land, this is Brother Bill and it's great to be back again to be able to share another video with the YouTube land. Saints, today I will be reading from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verse number 28 through 31. It's a very well-known passage of scripture, but saints, it's great to be reminded of the word of God. It's our job to meditate on this word day and night so that it, we may prosper and we may have good success. Today I want to speak to the YouTube land about what do you do when you find yourself going weary? What is your strategy, saints? Do you allow yourself to become overwhelmed? Do you throw in the towel? Do you allow anxiety to take over your life? Or do you go and find the word of life. Do you eat on the bread of life so that you may be um, strengthening in your inner man, that you may be able to continue to carry out the will of God? I know that for many of us, we have been with God a long time. And we know that the adversary, he is not going to stop attacking you. He's going to continue to try to oppress and lie and bring about suggestions and temptations until you leave this earth realm, until you go back into glory. But I'm here to encourage you today in the name of Jesus that we have a God that never grows weary. We have a God who does not sleep nor does he slumber. We have a Father who watch over his creation and he watch over his word. So I'm just here to encourage you, you so man, do not grow weary in well-doing. I will be reading from Isaiah, the 40th chapter. I will be starting at verse number 28 through 31. Before I get into this verse, saints, I would like to pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you now, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I thank you for giving me another opportunity to share your word with the YouTube land. Father, I pray, God, that this word will fall on good ground. I pray that this word produce in the lives of those who are hearing this word and those who are applying this word. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that you have given me the, the grace and the mercy, Lord God, to continue on in the kingdom of the living God. Now, Father, if there is anything in me that is not bringing you glory, God, uproot it. Burn it up with your fire, Heavenly Father. Father, I ask down that the Holy Spirit lead and guide me into all truth. Father, I pray that you get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Saints, I will be reading from Isaiah, the 40th chapter, and I will be starting at verse number 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faint not? Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He give power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increased strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and they shall not faint. And praise God, saints. And that is an encouraging word just to hear that we have a God who never gets tired. Praise God. He does not grow weary. He is superior. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is the everlasting father. He is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. And saints, I'm here to tell you that he is able to energize you regularly, daily. So we have to um, rest in God. And the way that we rest, saints, is we stay in His perfect will. We read His Word daily. We meditate that Word day and night. And saints, we um, allow God, Holy Spirit, to do the work in us. The only times we really find ourselves tired, saints, is when we over-exceed. When we are doing things in our humanity instead of, instead of our divinity. 
The Bible said that we could do all things through Christ who strengthened us. Praise God. I think that's important to know that whatever we do, whether it be eating, drinking, the Bible said we want to do it for the glory of the Lord. And saints, I know that we have uh, work to do. And I know that many of us, we are prayer warriors. And we are, hallelujah, we are soldiers for the Lord Jesus Christ. We endure hardship. We persevere. We intercede for the people of God and for those who are lost, who have not found their way unto the kingdom. And, and at times, saints, we will begin to um, exceed, or hallelujah, we will begin to burn the very anointed in our lives. We will find ourselves um, overexerting ourselves in the things of God. And that is okay, hallelujah, because God wants you to be able to pour out that old wine, hallelujah, so that he could bring new wine into that old wine bottle. Well, after you go about doing God's work and you're praying for the sick and you're casting out demons and you're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will find yourself weary. You will find yourself tired. You will find yourself on the verge of fainting. But I'm here to tell you that we have one who don't get tired. We have one that is 100% God. Hallelujah. And all we have to do is lanes. We have to use the wisdom. And we have to know that uh, we have done the work of the Lord. We have to go back and we have to recharge. Praise God. It's just like a car. If the battery is not fully charged, the car is not going anywhere. And we have to remember that, saints, that we have to stay in God's will. We have to stay connected to the vine. We are only the branches. He is the true vine. And as long as we stay connected, we can get the nourishment. We can get the power. We can get restored. We can get revived. And we can continue to do the work that he has called us to do. But if we get away from the vine and we stop praying and we stop reading God's word daily, we will find ourselves going, going weary. We will get tired. We might slide back into the world setting. Our flesh will begin to rule and reign and dominate. And we will begin to um, leave the fold of God. So I'm encouraging you saints that if you stay with God and you continue to pray, and you continue to fast, and you continue to read the word of God, God said we, be, we will be like that eagle. We will be able to soar high above our enemies. And we'll be able to glide like that very eagle. The Bible said the blessing of the Lord make you rich and it adds no sorrow. With no labor, with no toil. When we do things God's way and God's timing and God's plan, according to God's will, we don't grow weary, saints. So I am here to tell you that when we are doing things right, like Jesus did in Matthew, the fourth chapter, after he resisted the enemy, and he fasted, the Bible said that the angels of the Lord came and they ministered unto him, and they revived him, saints. And it's the same for me and you. You can grow weary when you're doing good. Hallelujah. You can grow weary when you are uh, preaching and you are, hallelujah, you are laying hands. Sometimes you get tired spiritually because you are allowed the Spirit of God to be zapped by, hallelujah, interceding and praying for others. But you have to remember that you have to go back and fill up, hallelujah. You have to go back and, hallelujah, lay at the feet of Jesus and you have to pray and you have to live in His presence and allow His glory in his presence just to fill you till you are full until your cup is running over according to psalms 23 that's why david said i have been young and i have been old i have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread he said yea do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death thy art with me thy rod thy staff thy comfort me thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies 
Thou anoints me with oil, and my cup is running over. And I'm here to tell you, saints, that God will keep your cup running over. We shall always be on four and never on E. If we find ourselves on E, we will become weary. We will, be, we will faint. The enemy will begin to put too much pressure on us. We will be oppressed. He will begin to attack us physically in our health. So we have to keep our shield of faith up. We have to keep on the whole armor of God so that we are able to stand in that evil day, saints. So I encourage you to read Isaiah the 40th chapter 28 through 31. And don't forget that you have a God who is always willing to listen to you and to hear you. And he's ready to empower you. He's ready to lay his hands on you. He's ready to, hallelujah, fill you with his spirit. He's ready to live on the inside of you. So I'm here to tell you, we have one that never grows weary. He never gets tired. And he's looking to charge you up. He's ready to fill you back up with the fullness of his presence for you can continue to do the great work. So I encourage you, YouTube land, don't go weary. Do not grow weary in well-doing. And may the God of peace be with you. Amen.